Hello, my name is Corey from VMods.com and in this video I'll be teaching you how to add the mystery boxes. So let's get started. First things first is you're going to download a link in the description. It will actually take you over to our, for our forums VMods.com and then when you download it uh, you'll actually get a folder like this right here. It's going to be called ZM underscore VMods. What you want to do is right click it go to extract all and then you can actually browse your folder but I already have it written down for you so you can actually just hit that um, what it's going to do then is put it in the prefab ZM folder just with the core the custom I think custom I added and giant you can hit select folder and hit extract then what you want to do is you want to open up radiant once Radiant's open, what you want to do is you want to right click up here in this open space. You can actually click any of these, but you just want to right click up in this first bar and you'll actually scroll down till you see Prefab Browser. I found this out uh, from another tutorial actually. This is actually going to be much easier adding in prefabs. And then if the folder's not there, just hit the reload. Uh, but what you want to do then is just navigate to ZM, ZM via mods, and then here you should have all the boxes. Now I actually gave you 10 in total. Uh, you can actually add other ones as well, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, but pretty much um, you shouldn't need more than 10 boxes. So first things first is make sure that the first box that you put in is going to via mo uh, is via mods underscore mystery box start. It must be this one. Don't add one. You'll get some errors. Make sure that it's the first one. Then all you want to do is just uh, select and delete the one that's already there. And then you can actually just make sure nothing is selected. So hit escape a few times and then just drag the mystery box in. And it's that simple. You'll now have the mystery box. And then what you want to do is when you find it, uh, right here, you just want to kind of line it up with the floor. Uh, I did make it where it lines up perfectly, so you can just grab it to that. Um, but right here, as you can see, these little arrows right here point this way. So what you want to do is just rotate, hit R on your keyboard, and then drag it so that way it's facing the way that you want it. And then that would mean that it's facing this way. If you don't do that, then it'll be facing the wrong way, and then you'll have to open it from the side, which you don't want to do. And then just kind of line it up with the wall where you want it. Um, I'm not sure the proper etiquette of how far away it should be. It's probably about here. If not, then it's here. Uh, but I think here is good so that the lid opens and doesn't go into the wall. And then there you go. You just added the mystery box. Now to add more mystery box, you just want to deselect everything like I said, and then just drag another one in. And then deselect, and then you could actually drag another one in. And then deselect, and then you could drag another one in. And then you can do this as much as you want. Now let's say for some reason you want more than 10 mystery boxes in your map. Well, how do you add more? So what you want to do is you want to grab one of the mystery boxes. So shift select it, right click on your keyboard and go to prefab, enter prefab. And then what you want to do is you actually want to shift click the um, the clip, the, the clip, yeah, the wall. This is the clipping so you can't go through the box. Hit H on this so it hides it. And then you'll see a little red box right here. Now there's actually two boxes here. Uh, what you want to do is hit N on your keyboard. There's actually two boxes here. What you want to do is instead of selecting any of them, just right click and then go to script struct. This is going to be the first one. And you can see right here, script noteworthy and it's chest three. Now I've already done up until chest uh, eight or nine, chest nine. So you have 10 in total, chest nine. So then you would just change chest three or whichever one it is to chest 10 and then hit enter. And then you could also change the price in here as well in case you're, you want your mystery box to be a different price. You can just change that here as well. Then deselect everything, hit escape a few times, and then right click the red box again. And then this time go to Z Barrier ZM Core Magic Box. And then right here you should see script underscore noteworthy. And then just change this number from whatever it is to the same. So this number and the other number should be the same numbers and then you're fine and then you can make as many as you want then to get out of this you want to go up to file save as and then what you can do is go into the ZM um, oops no, don't go that go into underscore prefabs ZM ZM via mods and then just select here and then change 09 to another one. Now I'm not going to add it, but that's how you would add it. That's how I made all nine of them. And then what you can do is you can actually just, uh, once it's saved, you can back out of that. So go to prefab, leave prefab. I'm not going to save it, but you've already saved it. So it shouldn't ask you this. Um, and then back out. And then there you would have a special one like that. And then if you did save a new one, it would be here as well. Just hit reload. But that's pretty much it for the mystery box. Let's take a look at what it looks like in the game.
All right, so here we are inside the game, and as you can see, our boxes are working already. Look, here's a working one, there's a broken one, there's a broken one, and there's a broken one. So let's see if we can actually get a teddy bear. Let's see here. Teddy bear! Dredge. Wanderwaff! Oh, the Wanderwaff! Wanderwaff. Oh, and here we are. We got the teddy bear. That wasn't... That was pretty quick, actually. Stupid teddy bear. And there the teddy bear goes up into the sky. The box goes up in the air. Spins around a bit. And see you later, box. And then now that one is broke. Then you just kind of want to wait. Let's see if it goes to our other ones. How long does it take to do that? I'm not sure. Did I put another box in? Oh, there it is. There it is. So as you guys can see, the boxes work fantastic. Very simple. All you have to do is head on over to viamods.com, download the uh, file, put it in as a prefab, and then just, uh, you know, drop them in your map. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out viamods.com, sign up for the forums, get posted, and I fell off the map and died. I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, check out viamods.com for the mystery boxes.